Ooh, welcome back to the Decider Havoc here, and we are back playing a little more Forever Stranded Lost Souls. That's right. And when we finished up last episode, I had just finished making the bellows, which I'm still not 100% sure how it works. I think this one needs a red sunset. I believe that's how it works. And then it does like an up and down thing, and it blows wind, but oh, there's the hole right there. Ha. And then I believe that blows it on a fire and it turns a regular fire into like a stoked fire or something like that. I did a little bit, a little bit of research. And so there's like recipe, right? So there's the crucible, which I know we're going to need eventually. Uh, this guy right here and its uses are, oh, see, there's crucible and stoked crucible. Okay. I knew I saw that somewhere. So the crucible, it can do things like, well, it seems like the only thing the crucible does is take a wet sponge and make a dry sponge. But the stoked crucible, however, um, <clears throat> it seems like there's some things here like soul forged steel ingots. Um, I can't apparently can make glass. So it looks like it smelts things like normal. Um, oh, it can put glass panes back into glass. That's kind of cool. Um, yeah, so it looks like a, it's kind of like a smeltery, but there's going to be things like soul forged steel ingot and an urn, a soul urn. How do you, what, what's a soul urn? A soul urn comes from soul sand in a filter hopper. You put in ground netherrack, you get out hellfire dust and a soul urn. Ooh. So that's kind of what we're going to be taking a look at today is kind of concentrate on getting more of the better with mod stuff and trying to get this as efficient as possible. Um, why is this not working? What? Oh, the vines got in the way again. <laughs> I need to figure out how to get up there and just break them completely. But for right now, the fact that I can reach so high is okay. Like, I just didn't break this one. This is the only one that's interfering with it. But I'm not going to take the time to pillar up and do that just quite yet. I'll just keep breaking the vines as I need to. So, anyways, uh, taking a look at better with mods. So, we did the bills last time. So, I'm thinking the obvious one is just kind of follow that path and do the hibachi. So the hibachi in the nether rack, oh, is the nether rack of modern man. When receiving redstone current, the element inside heats up using flint and steel to ignite. Uh, the heated element causes the hellfire on the top of the hibachi to ignite, creating a fire in the space above the hibachi. Uh, this flame cannot be extinguished by hand as the hibachi will reignite instantly. As long as the hibachi is powered by redstone, terminating the redstone current and occluding the hibachi surface with a block are the only way to extinguish flame. Okay. While the strong force exerted by the air expelled from the bellows extinguishes normal fires, it's not strong enough to extinguish the fire on the hibachi. The oxygen in the expelled air from the bellows will raise the temperature of the hibachi fire, causing the uh, enter a state known as being stoked. Stoked hibachi fire is a requirement for crucible operations, pottery, and render. Okay. So that's, that's, that's what we're doing now. So let's look at the recipe for the hibachi. The hibachi is going to be, uh, looks like four stone, a heating element, some redstone and concentrated hellfire. And that's made in the cauldron with the hellfire dust and the hellfire. Okay. So this all kind of connects. So skipping that step. Now we're going to take a look at the hopper, the filtered hopper. So the filter hopper looks a pretty simple. One of those, two of those, one of those, and a wooden pressure blade. So let's get some wood, some planks real quick. I'm gonna need one for the two siding. I'm gonna need one for the two gears and the other piece. And then I just need two for the pressure plate. Cool, so actually this is a really cheap recipe if you think about it, like that. And I'm pretty sure I got more of that wood elsewhere. It's probably other got other gears, but you know what? The game is trying to make us use these things. Let's use them. Let's use them. Turn this bad boy on. Hopped out of my hole over here. So there's the two siding. And then two of these sidings need to turn into the little corners. And these turn into gears, right? Cool. So that was super simple. I mean, it definitely helps itself build itself like pretty, pretty quickly. So we take these two gears, this pressure plate, these two sidings, and this little nook, and we get the filtered hopper. 
Now, I don't know if this is one that has to get powered or not, but we're gonna try that out real quick. I'm gonna put you right there. And nothing else, oh, because I turned you guys off. Um, so does this operate, how does this thing work? It looks like it has power. I'm assuming that's what that means. So if I'm, if I'm understanding it correctly, the filtered hopper, we're trying this, we're trying to make the hibachi, we need this, which means we need this hellfire dust. So you throw in ground netherrack and the filter is soul sand. Okay, so let's let's figure this out. Soul sand, soul sand. Um, where that would probably be in this box, right? Right. Um, did not have did I, did I actually sieve all my? Nope. There's a piece of soul sand right there. So we've got the soul sand, and we got the nether rack. How do I make ground nether rack? Your recipes. Um, the hammer. No, that's gonna break those down. Um, ground nether rack. Well, let's. I guess I could just look that up, huh? Ground nether rack. Not not crowned. I want ground nether rack. This stuff in the millstone. Well, that just makes sense. Okay, and it looks like I'm gonna need three of those ingots, right? So hibachi. Three of these ingots are made from eight, so we're gonna eight, 16, 24 hellfire dust, and that is made by eight, 16 of those. So yeah, so 24 netherrack, that's what we're gonna need. We're not gonna need two, we're gonna need 24. So let us go put that in the millstone real quick and grind up that netherrack. And as a matter of fact, I need to move you I, had, I was over here sieving, so I just moved uh, this guy for the time being. So I'll put you right there, set you to items down. We're going to put the netherrack in and let you do your thing. Oh! Well, that's an unpleasant sound, isn't it? I'm going to go ahead and turn mob sounds down when that netherrack is grinding up, because that's just kind of violent. Actually, you know what? That might be a block sound, because hostile creatures is already pretty low. Yeah, that's better. Okay, so we're going to grind up that netherrack, and there's one thing I'm pretty sure, okay, this is one thing I'm pretty sure about. This filter, if I remember correctly, I was reading something about needing a soul urn, uh, which we're going to eventually use later, because it'll, like, blow up <laughs> and produce a ghast if you don't put one in there, or, like, under it? I think it's, it might be under. So let's dig out a little path here. So we can get under this guy. And yeah, see, cause it's got the little downspout right here. I think we have to put a soul urn right there. So let's look at the soul urn. This episode, just in case you guys didn't know, I did a lot of research um, going into it because I didn't want to have a lot of issues. So the soul urn, it's, it's, this is what you fill it with, right? This is actually gets the soul put into it. It's like a gas soul that goes into it. But I'm sure something empties it out. And I guess it, there it is. That's what I'm looking for. So the urn. How do I make the urn? In a kiln, we put an unfired urn. And the urn is made on the turntable. Okay, so uh, we've got to look at the turntable now. So it looks like all these kind of all go together. So that would be good. Let's go ahead and get our achievement there. And let's pop this and see what we get. We got spawn pigs. All right, cool. And so the turntable's one of these. Uh, you're right there. The turntable is used to make a crucible and other blocks that can be placed. Okay, so turntable recipe. I'm just adding to the recipes over here. Turn table. You're this guy, it looks like a piston. Okay, so we need three more siding. Three more stone, a wooden gear, and a clock. Let's go see. I don't know how much redstone. I don't have a lot of redstone. That's an item I've been having to like go mine and try to find. Um, I haven't found a way to really produce redstone at a decent rate yet. And I know I've got... Well, I guess I got Is there a way to make it? <laughs> is there a way to make redstone? 
Um, yeah, you can always smelt blocks down. Um, it, oh, a crusher. Oh, yeah, that's just ore. Furnace is just smelting. We're not to Batania yet. The kiln. Is something. Yeah, so basically, I just go find redstone. Um, I don't know how common it is, but it's got to be found. So I think what I'll go do now is just pause real quick and go find some redstone. Just try to get a collection of it going. Um, I might put some lapis on my pick. Um, do I have any modifiers? Yeah, three modifiers. I might put some lapis on my pick. I've got some lapis. Is that lapis? No, it's cobalt. I've got some lapis sitting around here somewhere. Just to try to add a little luck to my pick. And hopefully, um, I'll be able to... Where, oh, yeah, there you are. Uh, be able to get a little more redstone when I do this. So, two modifiers. That's going to give me almost luck one. Not quite luck one, but... Do I get... Oh, yeah, I did get luck. Okay, so... At least I'll get like fortune one, maybe get a little extra redstone. So I'm going to go hunt for some redstone and then we'll be back after I find a decent amount of redstone. So we'll be right back. All right. So let me tell you, redstone's not the easiest thing to come across. Um, definitely not the easiest, but I'm, I, I did find some and I was getting harassed by a lot of mobs. I accidentally hit a pig man while trying to defend myself from a magma cube. And yeah, here we are. We got some redstone. Also got a little bit more lapis, although I'm not too worried about that right now but we will probably add a little more luck to our pick eventually. Um, let me get rid of some of these mob drops real quick. <coughs> and okay, we'll be okay right there. So let's check out that recipe for the turntable again. Um, let me get rid of redstone so I can actually see this list. So the turntable was three of those, got it. Stone, easy, a clock, redstone and gold. I think I've made some gold up already, I did. So four there. Got you. Uh, the wood, we got that. We got the gear, stone, and the slabs. Cool. I think I've got building materials. Is that where I put them at? Um, I, I've made some of these already. It's like there's a gear. Well, I've already got a couple on me. In one of these boxes, I put... Oh, you know, building blocks. That's where I put them at. Um, so I need three of those. And that should be everything, right? Turntable. Oh no, I need stone. That's what I need. I need four stone. One, two, three, four. There we go. So this should be able to make the turntable. And, well, let's just shift click it in there. Oh, the clock. Yes, make the clock. Make the clock. There we go. And make the turntable. All right, cool. Now we gotta go power this bad boy up. So I believe from what I've been learning between all the mods and stuff like that, that this actually has to get power from under it. So I'm thinking just for the time being, I'm gonna do this and just put this bad boy right here. And I like that because of this, it's just gonna hold the millstone right there for me, so that's awesome. Now we just gotta go get some clay. I don't remember if I have clay made yet or not, but let's make up an urn. Um, would you be over here? That's grout. So I know I've had clay recently um, under randoms or useful stuff. Um, <laughs> unfired. No, I just got to go make up some clay real quick. So let me grab some leaves and some water and some dust. One, two, three, four. And then we should be able to make the urn. So one, two, three, four. You go in there. Um, I'm sure I have dust sitting around here somewhere. I have to have dust sitting around here somewhere, right? Um, nope, but, oh, that's snad. Let's grab a piece of cobble and one of my hammers. And let's turn this into gravel. I need to figure, I need to start automating. I mean, I know it's still early, but I would love to start automating, um, like, the sand production, the dust production, all that stuff. That would just be great. And you're almost there. Someone's going crazy. Oh, it must be over in the mob farm. I'm like, I hear uh, magma cream going crazy right now. And I don't like when that happens, so. All right. Almost done, almost done, almost done. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Almost 20, 40, 20, 10. There we go. Cool. Clay. And we should just be able to put this right on here. So, oh, did not want to do that. 
please tell me I can just put those four back together. I only got three from it. Come on, really? Okay. So these are settings. I believe it's probably the last one I want. Um, so there's one, two, three, four. There's four settings. And one goes to the crucible, one goes to a pot, and one goes to the urn. So I think... I think it's the last one I want. But now I gotta go get more clay. That's so annoying that it set it down there. Try to right click, that didn't happen. And I guess I'll have to go grab a piece of another gravel, but we'll get the water started. So the soul urn, I believe is just, I hope is just the urn goes right there. I don't know this power, but I know it can't get powered from the bottom if I have to put the urn there. So I think powering it from the side is fine. I think we should be good with that. I'm hoping we're good with that. A lot of hoping involved in me playing Minecraft. Um, I, said I do a little bit of research, but some stuff's not always the most clear and some stuff's just not even accurate. So you never know what you're gonna get, but let's try this again. So that's gonna take a second. So I gotta put this just right on top here. And then I believe it kind of like breaks it down. I don't know if it'll go past the setting that I want or not. So I'm gonna see if we just do the first setting, right? I should be able to do the first setting. It should just stop there. And if it doesn't, then so be it. I can just adjust. So if I put you on top like this, okay, so I, it's doing work. Okay, so it does just keep going. Okay, so those settings mean absolutely nothing. Okay, so that's an unfired planter. That's the vase. And that's the urn. That's what we want, right? One of you. And then we got to go cook you up. Can I cook you in the cauldron? Seems like everything else cooks in the cauldron. Nope. But I can probably just throw you in a furnace, right? You've got power, right? Nope, you are drained. I need to put coal in here. Grab a stack of coal. Get my furnace generator going up. You start cooking. I'll take you out and put you in. Nope, that doesn't work. How do I do the urn? You. Give me this. How do I make you? In a kiln. Okay. So the kiln. Okay, I'm going to need more clay. Obviously. Um, I'm going to need... I think I know how this one works. It's a fire under it. You're going to need one, two, three, four, five clay or brick blocks. So that means I'm gonna need 20 more clay. All right, so here we go. 20 more clay is basically 20 more leaves. It's, yeah, it's like one leaf per clay. That kind of, that kind of math I can get on board with. Okay, so get you guys going, right? All right, perfect. And then <laughs> more sand <laughs> or more dust. Um, getting a little bit repetitive here. All right, there's two, and I need one, two, three. There we go. Set you down, boop, 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 and turn you all to gravel. And getting used to this one, right? Got the art form of making quick uh, clay. It's not really all that difficult. It's just kind of, this is kind of the grindy stuff. What? What is that noise? I don't like that noise. Is my ship settling? Is that what that is? My ship settling? All right. So you're good. You're good. You're good. You're good. You're good. Okay. Cool. And now I hope I get a decent rate. Can I? Oh, okay. I'll get four that way. That's cool. All right. So furnace. Um, take you out. One, two, three. Save whatever clay I need. Why? Oh, this is a pulverizer, not a furnace. Jeez. What am I thinking? No wonder I couldn't put it in there. Um, there we go. And you should smelt up really quickly in this one. Good. And then, where are we going to put this? I think I'm going to put it over here by my other uh, continuous fire items. So let us kind of clear this area out. So I'm going to put one there, one there, one there, one there, and one there. I don't need it to be on par with it. It can just be kind of close by. Let's make up some nether rack real quick, just to plug holes. Trying to keep stuff looking relatively pretty if I can. 
So, yeah. So clay, clay, or sorry, brick, brick, brick. This is where the other one's going to go. Right there. All right, cool. And then I just, oh, hold on one more. Just as I'm thinking about it, I need to do you down there. Let me fill that hole just because that's going to bother me since I see it. There we go. So we need to, to start a fire right there. I believe that's how that works. I believe. And I should have flint and steel somewhere around here. I know I've used it before. Or did I know I did a fireball, didn't I? Did I? Where's my flint and steel? What, what under my use? Do I have any fireballs left? I don't. Oh, maybe I did wood. Maybe that's what I caught on fire. I caught some wood on fire. But I should be able to make flint and steel now, right? That just seems like something I should be able to do now. Flint and steel. Now, see, because that's a steel ingot. Ah, that's why I was doing wood. That's exactly why I've been doing wood. Now I remember. Okay, so we'll put you here. Put you away. Um, I guess I can put the gold back in there. Let it do its thing. Um, so I need to put like a piece of wood. Um, I guess if I put wood right here, one of these should catch on fire. This should catch on fire from there, right? I'm thinking that should catch that on fire. It doesn't have to be right next to it. If not, I'll go grab another piece of wood just to hope that fire spread. And, uh, and then we can get our council. Oh, I can grab those bricks while we're at it too. And put those together like so. There's my five bricks. Did you catch on fire yet? Did you catch on fire yet? Yes, you did, except you burnt the wrong block. Um, so let's, if that's how you want to do it, let's catch that one on fire, huh? You catch this one on fire, and then that should be good. Put the rest of the bricks in, like so. Right? Like that. And there you go. Now you're on fire. Awesome. I guess I can put another rack back in there and plug that hole. I just trying to keep stuff as organized as possible. Trying to, at least. All right? So that should be a functioning kiln. Oh, it does say kiln. Okay, cool. It actually says it. And then I just put you in there. You seem to be doing work. You seem to be doing work. So I, I've got to be on the right path. All right. We doing work? Are we doing work? Um, oh, I still don't have my crushed netherrack. Uh, oh, that's over in the thing. So yeah, I do actually have that technically. All right, come on. How long does this take? It seems to take quite a while. Oh, there we go. Cool. Now, if I've gotten everything right and figured this all out, you go there and you attach. Good. Then we take soul sand and we put you in here. Or do I just do that? Okay, I do that. And then we take this crushed nether rack or ground nether rack, I guess it is. And just throw you in there. Okay. I think it's eight. I think after eight... Um, it can blow up if you don't have it. Okay, so that was seven. I wanted to make sure I counted correctly. And then that should turn that into the other one. Yep. All right, cool. So I've just got to make up a couple more of those so I don't get blown up. So I'm going to make up the rest of the clay and make two more kilns. And then we will come back and get the rest of the stuff done. So we'll be right back. Okay, so as it's making these, I kind of have to realize maybe it's not a stage for these, but it's actually a speed. That's what I'm kind of realizing because I was trying to like set it to the last one over here and then it slowed down drastically. So I think what that actually is is a speed and that's kind of cool to know. Um, so let's put down another urn right here. Let's throw eight more of these into there. And I should, well, I thought I'd get it. Should have popped off, shouldn't it? Oh. That's what I want. There we go. And oh, and it's giving me a lot of clay back too. That's interesting. But where did that one go? Did it just one, two, three, four? Did it go all the way down to the last one and just make another piece of clay? I remember reading when I was looking at these clay things like this one, it's going to give me one piece of clay and the crucible. 
and then it's going to give me another piece of clay and the unfire planter. Then it gives me another piece of clay and the vase, and then it gives me another piece of clay and the, the unfired urn, and then the unfired urn turns into another piece of clay. So I think accidental game mechanic, you can actually, um, why are you not filling up? Oh, am I getting really lucky and forgetting that I didn't fire this? Or did the mechanic change? I don't know. But that was accidental. Totally accidental. Um, hopefully I don't have too much stored in there. But hey, we got all the, the Hellfire dust. So that's a good thing. So I don't know if I just put this under there, if it's going to make it automatically. But I feel like I'm very lucky that that didn't blow up right now. Um... I'm pretty sure <laughs> I, I kind of messed that one up. Uh, so let's see. Let's go put one under and see if it just automatically fills it now. Maybe there's a slight buffer. I don't know. Let's see. Nope. I mean, it's not doing anything, but it didn't blow. So, I mean, heck, that's a good thing, right? And there's my other Hellfire Dust. Okay. So back to what we were making. So we were trying to make the Hibachi, which is now nowhere on my screen. There it is. Um, so I need four stone, a heating element, which is redstone, blaze, and a string, which I do over here. I've got the redstone on me. I just need a blaze powder and a string. I'm sure I've got those somewhere. Uh, blaze. Blaze. There we go. And a string. Um, does the hemp fire work? Hop fiber work? I don't know. Let's, let's go see if that works. So you, so it's blaze, redstone, and does the hemp fiber work? Yes, it's cooking, cool. So that'll get the filament, and then we got the redstone, and so we'll be able to get the hibachi and start getting going on some crucible-like stuff. So this could be a pretty good day. Pretty, pretty good day. Let's go ahead and take four of these and just make the crucible now, since we're gonna need it, and put you right there. And then we can put that in the kiln once that other urn is done. There we go. And just knock out another achievement while we're at it, right? Oh, that was a quest in itself. Okay, cool. And then we just put you in there and you cook up, right? Um, okay, maybe that was part of it and now I've got to cook it. Maybe that's what it's trying to tell me. But I've got the other urn right here. And yeah, that didn't seem to fill, so... I did something right or wrong, whichever way you want to look at it. And, uh, yeah, come on, come on. There we go. And so that is going to be over here somewhere. And I just need to get a fire started on the, oh yeah, the heating element. There we go. So I'm getting achievements done while I'm kind of running all over the place. So let me go grab those four stone. And then we'll get that one done. One, two, three, four. There we go. And we will make up our hibachi here. Oh, wait, hold on. What's kept? What's? Oh, I gotta put those in the cauldron. That's that's what I gotta do. Gotta put these in the cauldron. Hopefully, this doesn't take too long. Could have done that while that heating element was being made. But let's check the the quest book as we're we're doing this. So turntables done. I'll just take the loot chest for that one. The crucible is now done. Um, claim that. And a planter and a vase. So those are just more items I can make. Um, so I got the crucible. Yep. Let's open our loot chest and see what we got while we're here. A modular cart and a wooden rail. And two chests. Not the most exciting stuff, but hey, you know, progression's progression, right? Um, as a matter of fact, let's just knock out those other ones while we're while we're at it. I can do two of them. I can do the plant vase and the, the other one. So we'll put you on there. So it goes from the crucible to, which one did I need? I needed the planter and the vase. That's the planter, right? Yep. And there we go. And then the vase. I'm not really sure what they're used for. Are these even from the same mod? Oh, they are better with mods, okay. And then the vase should be the next one, right? Unfire planter, unfire vase. There we go. And I guess we can go fire those up and... Oh, 
I didn't get it. This guy did. And we can fire those up. And we'll we'll see if they have a use. <laughs> we'll see if they have a use. I'm not sure what they're used for, but I can play around with them and kind of see what kind of fun stuff we'll get out of them. Those are almost done. We're almost got the hibachi. So not too bad. The the goal was to start by making the hibachi, and in the process we made our kiln, which is pretty cool. New, different stuff, whatever. And then we also made our turntable so we can make all these little parts and stuff like that. We got our filtered hopper done. So it's, it's, we're getting things done just because each mod, like the mod requires other stuff. So it, this episode was definitely, I think a productive one in the sense that it kind of just set you in the direction that you needed to go. And for that reason, I think that was pretty cool. I think this has been pretty productive. We got a lot of the better mods, with, better with mod stuff done. And now once that they're all done, I can start kind of getting them organized and figuring out like where I want to put all this stuff. Now the hibachi needs a redstone signal. So it doesn't even have to be powered, I don't believe. Um, I think this one just needs a redstone signal. So if I go make a lever real quick, we'll try making a lever. Um, actually, I think I want to make two because I do believe that the billows needs one too. So one, two, go grab two sticks, all these achievements being complete. Lever, does it, do I really have to break it down into cobble? <sighs> you know what, I, I don't want to break the, the smelted block if I don't have to. Let's just grab two cobble over here. You and you. Okay, cool. So let's go check this out. I don't have a flint and steel, but I can make a fire charge if I need to. So the billows, I know it covers a certain area. I just don't know how large of an area, but we'll, we'll just try this. So hibachi goes right here. And then, oh, it doesn't even need, okay. Oh wait, that block's faced in the wrong direction. Um, does it go the way I set it down? So if I set it this way, is that where you're blowing your fire? Do I need a timer? How does this thing work? I'm pretty sure I'm doing this right, actually. Um, or is this the one you jump on? Do I jump on it? How does this billows work? Okay, let's go back to the billows page. Cause I'm pr I thought I was doing it right. See, I, I do read this stuff. Okay, billows will keep a stoked flame alight. Also, this below can be upgraded to a spring action billows. Maybe that's why I'm trying to jump on top of it. Let's check the spring action billows real quick and see if I can make that. Um, the billows. Oh, it's bellows, not bill. Bellows. Okay, so we've got the bellows. Um, shift click with an empty hand to rotate this block. Okay, and spring action. That's going to take soul force. Oh, yeah, so that's not an option yet. So then, do I right click? Okay, I'm so confused right now. I thought that this just needed a redstone signal. And you picked up my, my lever. Give my lever back. So how does the bellows work? Does it need mechanical power? I don't think this thing uses mechanical power, does it? Let's... I guess we can try. Um, try to think, does it, let me place it a block up somewhere. Um, so I can see under it. There we go. Just place it on the side here. No, it doesn't look like it. Let's, I mean, we could try, try giving it mechanical power from the bottom and seeing if that's the issue. So I know I can put it right here. Oh, there it goes. I, I, apparently that is it. And then, yeah, because it just, the block just totally moved. And... I don't get it. I mean, it definitely shrank. So let's try this. Let's turn you off. We'll try moving you. Just right in front, just, you know, we're testing stuff out. 
So you're gonna go right here. Will this go redstone right there? Yeah, it will. And how do we stoke the fire? It's obviously getting power. Is it this one I need to turn on and off? Okay, so it's the gearbox. It's the mechanical power that needs to be turned on and off. Okay, that's interesting, but that's good to know. So basically there's a gearbox going to this one right here that I need to be able to get. Is there a timer? Is there a timer in here just to um, do I have four redstone o'clock? I need five more redstone and four stone. Is that something I have? I've got that. Let's do it. Let's try to put a timer on it and see if that works. So I need four more gold. I need four sticks and four stone. See, I'm, I'm literally going from mod to mod or mod pack to mod pack kind of learning this stuff as I go because they're all kind of intertwining. So that's kind of cool. Okay, so I need four of you. Need one of you. And I need one of you. So let's go put the timer over here. And if I put the timer, I guess I'd have to go one down. Where's my pick? Where's my pick? At what point did I lose my pick? Are you in here? Where's my pick? Did it like shift click into that freaking crafting table? Oh, it's right there on the ground. I was like, what happened here? My pick's disappearing. Okay. So if we put this right here. Sorry, I'm staring blankly trying to figure out what just happened and there was a block missing under it. Okay, there we go. Um, so we're going to put you there and then we're going to put the timer right here and we're going to put you down at like, um, I'm sure a 20 second delay is probably good. So we'll turn you on. That might be a little bit too much. Let's try... A 40 second delay just so it's not going too often it seems to work all right I'm I'm happy with this I mean this all this whole area looks hideous right now but we've got a stoked crucible which means that I can put the crucible above this fire um, so I just need well we'll just do this real quick <laughs> Building block, building block. Put you right here. And pick you guys back up. Yeah, I know I blocked the wind, but now you should be working. There we go. And now we got a stoked crucible. Okay. This area looks hideous, but it's it's functioning. So we've got the filtered hopper today. The billows is now stoking the hibachi flame. And the saw, and then over here, I've got both my uh, turntable and my millstone. So everything seems to be working all right. I'm pretty content with everything that's going on. This, this seemed like a productive day to me. Let's see what other accomplishments we got done. Uh, so we've got our hibachi, another hibachi. You know what? I'm just going to go ahead and claim that. I'm finally not going to do a loot chest. I'm going to claim another hibachi. Um... The vase is a nice decorative block, yeah. So let's go claim the loot chest for that one. Uh, once made, you can place many things in the planter, for example, dirt, and then place seeds on the dirt. Is that a way to like grow something without needing water? I wonder. I'm gonna go ahead and grab more of those just because you guys, uh, you told me that the loot chests aren't always the best. And so I've really been keeping my eye out for cooler stuff. Um, the chicken stick. Is that the one where like you break it and you get chickens instead? Because that'd be kind of fun. Um, yeah, but I, let me try this planter out really quick. So we're going to put a planter right here. And we're going to go get some dirt. Like so. Do I not have any dirt? Uh, I've got a grass block, which means i got to have dirt around here somewhere. Um, or maybe not. I'll use the grass block. Oh, yeah, I don't have a big need for grass. So if I put grass in there, 
Can I take you back out? Uh, doesn't look like it. A grass planter. Now it, I can plant seeds. So where are my seeds at? Where's the seed I would like to grow? Um, so I'm industrial hemp now. Canola. Rice. I want to start doing this so I can make some more rice bread. Because that stuff seems pretty awesome. Do I need to get a hoe? Is that something I need to do? Do I need a hoe? Am I going to completely ruin this grass block now? There you go. I can officially completely ruined the, the grass block now. And plant. Now, if you grow like that, that's really cool. That's some cool decoration right there. I'm going to go ahead and place these other two just kind of in the entryway over here. It'd be nice to have plants growing in the entryway and kind of keeping things pretty. And I'll probably in between this episode and next... I had dirt right there. Between this episode and next episode, I'll probably get a little bit more uh, organized with the Better With Mod stuff and kind of create like a, a station over there. And I might expand out my little underground tunnel here. I don't know. Enough with that time. Um, we went a little bit long, but you know, it's okay on a productive day. I don't mind going long at all. So y'all know the deal. Until next time, travelers, I'm Slaughter Havoc and I'm out of here. Peace.